Bitch, I got my own fight, don't need security in this club All that wolfing on the net, homie, I thought you was a thug They ain't got nowhere to go, I shot up everywhere they was Yeah, you know who took that shit from you, come get it back in blood Brr. Yo, if you don't know the original song that this that this instrumental comes from, Back in Blood by Pooh Shiesty and, uh, and Lil Durk, check that hoe out. It goes hard. And this beat right here, this instrumental, Back in Blood, goes, goes stupid. I, and I was super surprised when I saw that Joyner had a track because I was like, Joyner hasn't really done a remix track in, in, in a minute. Like, he's already found a little bit of his success. He doesn't necessarily need to, need to go and do these remixes to, like, gain traction and buzz about his artwork. He's already at the level where his name and reputation is already doing that on its own. There's there's no need to go and ride somebody else's beat to, like, to for the SEO and, and to get his name out there so i was really surprised when we saw this but knowing the first song the actual original track and knowing how hard it goes and how hard joiner goes on remixes i'm excited bro follow your boy instagram twitter discord all of those things most importantly hit up the twitch if you're someone who likes to watch live streams we are live streaming over on twitch and it's a dope ass time we're actually in the middle of resident evil 8 we're doing our second stream tonight so if you're if you're someone who likes to participate and and partake in live in live streams it's always the second link in the description under patreon but no further ado we got joiner lucas back in blood let's get it Beat is so so menacing, bro. It's so aggressive. So aggressive. Hey, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Yeah, look. I ain't been on my freestyle shit in a minute, but niggas don't put no respect. So tell all the. Yo, right out the gate, he said exactly what I said. I ain't been on my freestyle shit in a minute, but they don't want to put respect on my name. All tree, y'all. I ain't been on my freestyle shit in a minute, but niggas don't put no respect. So tell all these rappers that I'm taking over just so you know what to expect. I wasn't gonna do it at first, but fuck it, I must keep my foot in their neck. If I give you a warning, you better believe me. You know I stay good on my threads. Nigga, I spent my whole life. If I give you a warning, bro, you better believe me because I stay good on my threads. It's, it's not even a threat, it's a promise. I promise you, you don't want none of this. So I'm I'm giving you that warning up front and know that I don't take this threat shit lightly. And I must keep my foot in their neck. If I, I give you a warning, warning you better believe me. You know I stay good on my threats. Nigga, I spent my whole life in the studio. Shit kind of felt like I'm doing a stretch. I wish I could spend more time with my son, but I know that I'm doing my best. And I know that it's... He said, I spend my whole life in the studio. It feels like I'm doing a stretch, bro. Like I'm like I'm doing a prison bid, like I'm doing a, a lifetime bid in, in prison. I'm doing a stretch. That's how often I'm here. And I'm enclosed by these four studio walls, bro. I'm doing a stretch. I wish I could spend more time with my son, but I know that I'm doing my best. And I know that it's worth it, but he look at me and say, daddy, look, you were the best. And I'm finding new ways to deal with my anger because I never do good with stress. Niggas hate when I brag. It's all, it's all, it's all good because my son is like, yo, I'm proud of you, dad. I wish that I could spend more time with him, but I gotta go and I gotta show him that you gotta have drive in order to go out and get the things that you desire. So the fact that he's validating the fact that I have lack of time when he says that I'm doing, uh, that I'm the best makes it all worth it. Yeah. Niggas hate when I brag, I know. I know. When I talk about cash, I know. I know. When I talk about cars, I know. I know. All the bitches I have, I know. I know. They say, Jay, I miss when you was broke. Uh -huh. Way before all the fame and glory. Yeah. Money changed you and made you corny. Word. The material thing just bore me. Yeah. You're no different than all the- Bruh, and this is criticism that he gets. He, he gets criticism for being corny. I, I don't know why I don't see it. I mean, is it because he came up as a YouTube rapper like like his like his fame and, and his success came from the remixes that he did and remixes are seen as corny? But I do get what he's saying. Like they're tired of talk. They're tired of hearing me talk about the bitches and the jewelry and the cars and the, and the whips and the uh, cars and whips are the same thing. And the house like they're tired of hearing me talk about that because all of my all of my songs that have that have blown up or like the concept driven songs they're they're very deep they're not they're not anything like that like the one where that one where you're seeing it from two points of view from the from the kid's eyes and then from the from the black guy that he befriended and then also the one where i'm not a racist like these tracks they're deeper than just the material so people are like you sold out you know material thing just bore me you know different than all of these industry niggas i thought you were special and awesome now you're selling your soul and just hopping on records with anyone nigga you lost it i miss when you made music that i can relate to because all of your new shit ain't thoughtful when you gonna mm. make some new music with marshall when you gonna pull some new shit out the arsenal 
I'm back on my remix. When you go make them some new shit with Marshall and pull some shit out the arsenal, bro, because people are always going to say, you're always going to have people that say that you switched up after you've made money. It's just good. It's just the fact. The more money you make, the bigger you get there. Is, there's more pressure to 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 keep the loyal fan base that you had at the beginning. The loyal fan base that's been there writing from the beginning, if they don't get that sound that they're expecting, then they're going to get upset. Like when you're going to do some new shit with Marshall, that's such an unfair line because like, are you actually here for Joiner? Are you here for Eminem and Joiner's on with Eminem? You know, like, did you only like when I was with Marshall or did you like my music for what it was before that? With Marshall, when you gonna put some new shit out the Arsenal? I'm back on my remix, shit don't sue me. Nigga, I'm too unruly. Hey, hey, I hey. might slide in the hole like Toozy. Bitch, I'm too damn groovy. Hey. Nigga, shot I might slide in the like Toozy, like the Toozy slide. I'm too unruly. Hey, hey. I might slide in a hole like Toozy. Bitch, I'm too damn groovy. Niggas hey. try cancel me like Boozy. All y'all hoes is goofy. Uh, but you ain't know my life's a movie. I so cracked a pookie. Hey, hey, hey. Look, she in love with the cocaine. And Bro, I so cracked a pookie. They try to cancel me like Boozy. For everybody that don't remember, Boozy got canceled. What he... What he he said something that was like that was definitely not with the times. I forgot what he said, but it, I remember it was something about he lacked the inclusive mentality to like to like include and love and welcome everybody. Like I I forget if he was talking about transvestites or gays or or why well, I forgot what he said, but they tried to cancel him. Like he's a hood ass dude. Now, did you really expect him to have that that forward mentality, that forward thinking mentality? Look, she in love with the cocaine, I'm in love with the dog game. Try to cook crack with an oven and propane. Try to make a dollar back when I ain't had no name. And niggas told me that I had to stay in my own lane. I jumped in the water and started making my own wave. I'm watching the pool splash. They told me don't move fast. And every nigga doing better than me, I blew past. And niggas look at me like, how the fuck did he do that? Bro, fire, son. Like, you know, when I when I had nothing, I they told me to stay in my own lane. They said, don't cross into our lane. You know, you better know where you where you belong and stay there. And he's like, nah, I, I jumped in the water. I made waves bigger than people were expecting. And I drowned out and I drowned the entire competition. I jumped in the pool splash. Don't they told me don't move fast. Like, don't leave this big weight. But I blew right past everybody. Did I say wait? I meant wake as in like as in like a boat wake, like the like the waves behind the boat. I got one crib, I don't live in it. The other one is big enough to probably put my other motherfucking crib in it. The one crib, I made a clubhouse. The stuffed all my stepkids in it. And then I built me a trap house to let all the fiends take a hit in it. And I might buy a church too, just in case I want to sin in it. Put a hot tub in the front row, let all my hoes come swim in it. Yeah, I made so much bread, I bought a crib and took a shit in it. You talk about it, I'm living it. You brag about it, I been did it. And I got all right, so those lines right there weren't that great. If I'm being quite honest, you know, like, like I try to pride myself in the fact that I'm not going to dick ride artists and I'm not going to I'm not going to like uh, automatically like every single thing that an artist does. That whole like like bought a crib and took a shit in it and buy a church and put a and put a put a hot tub in the front. Like I get it. He's saying that he's so rich that he can just do this like like do this with no effort. He can just blow this money and do dumb shit. But it, it just doesn't hit. It doesn't land for me. The shit line, it, it, it almost sounds like it sounds like a different iteration of when Lil Wayne said, I got 10 bathrooms like a shit all day. It sounds like the same line, just like reworded in a different way. And the church line, I could I those two lines were not bars. Let's put it that way. Talk about it. I'm living it. You brag about it. I been did it. And I got your bitch in the whip riding shotgun with the ceiling down. You let her down, I feel her up just cause a bitch feeling down. I don't know if her ass real, but I do know that it's really round. I think that I'm tall enough for her to give me head without kneeling down. Fake niggas only really I think that I'm tall enough to give me head without kneeling down, like I'm like I'm a giant in this game. That that that's that's a nice little line right there. Fake niggas only really lie just because of probably how real it sounds. Please shut the fuck up anytime I bring somebody real around. You versus me, nigga, that's like a whale pushing a sail around. Tell me how many <laughs> dead rappers do you think it takes to fill the ground? And bitch, I'm a pimp mode. How many dead rappers does it take to fill the ground? Because I'll just keep killing all these motherfuckers. You trying to play me is like, like a whale like being pushed around by a seal. I got way more weight in this game than you think I have. To fill the ground. And bitch, I'm a pimp mode. I only know what the pimps know. The man in the mirror is get so. I pay a stripper in crypto. I pay a stripper in crypto. I do not care if you lit though. I hit my plug from the flip phone. I'm selling pebbles to Flintstones. Scared nightly. Hit the plug. I'm selling pebbles to Flintstones. I hit my plug from the flip phone. I'm selling pebbles to Flintstones. Scam nightly. Selling whatever the strand might be. Yeah. Get yeah, like me. All of my packages sell tightly. Yeah. I had a ragged deal, then I drop a label, nigga, come take a chance like me. You niggas cannot advance like me, you'll give it Lenny back to advance like me. I got the upper hand. 
you can't advance like me you'll give like you'll be asking for your like your Atlanta could be giving you advance like like that's nice that's a nice little wordplay right there advance advance like the two different the two different meanings behind the word advance y'all ain't got the balls to be taking chances like me like the like the chance to to drop a guaranteed record label drop the deal that's guaranteed money and go and go independent that is a very bold move. And I know that y'all, I know deep down that y'all know that y'all would never be able to take that type of chance. Like you don't, you don't believe in yourself in that way to even fathom taking that type of chance. You niggas cannot advance like me. You'll give it Lenny back to advance like me. I got the upper hand, mm, and I got the other hand icy. My diamonds uh, moving like Chris Brown. You know I love when it dance hyphy. Hey, hey. I already knew that. That I already knew. Obviously, we've heard diamonds dancing plenty of times. So when he said diamonds moving like Chris Brown, like I already knew where he was going with that with the diamonds dancing. Like you know, it's it's nice, but I've heard it plenty of times before. So it's not like catching me as like oh shit. You know I love when it dance hype. Hey, hey, hey. Only nigga that told his girlfriends about my other girlfriends in front of my side, little bitch and wife. You give a fuck about security in the club. We gonna ride. Give a fuck if it's a quarantine and now we still outside. The last hey, nigga we out here. Play me talking crazy, then he died. Like them cheap ass old school church shoes. Catch you slipping, we gon' slide. Ooh, we gon' slide on ooh. him. Catch you slipping, we gon' slide. Put ooh, that rubber on. That was nice. That little break, that little dropout. And then catch you slipping, we gon' slide to like emphasize it more. That was tight. And I like the way that he's like, he's using the he's using the flow from the actual song to end the track, you know? Paying homage to Pooh Shiesty and the Lil Durk's track by using the by using the hook like cadence. But he said, I don't give a fuck if it's quarantine or not. We still outside. We still out here in these streets. We're still putting in that work. This nigga try to play me talking crazy, then he died. Like them cheap ass old school church shoes. Catch you slipping, we gon' slide. Oh, oh. Catch you slipping, we gon' slide. Put that rubber on that grip, then we gon' catch your ass outside. Send them goonies on that mission, nigga tripping. You go hide when you get hit with that blicky. You gon' wish that you done died. When you get hit with that blicky, with that firearm, you gon' wish that you done died. That's nice. All right, yeah, you know that that's hard. It's it's just a braggadocious little verse. You know, it's not anything that I haven't heard from Joiner before. It's not anything that's gonna crazy stand out to me. I like the original song more than I like this remix for sure. And it could be because of like I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because it's Pooh Shiesty song and and it fits and it fits his tone and his demeanor and everything about the original is like a little darker than this. It the, it's it's the realest shit when it comes to like popping guns and when it comes to we're living this life, can get it back in blood. He's not just saying it. He's actually talking the life that he lives. Where this right here, you know, it's braggadocious, but braggadocious rap will only get you so far. I already know Joyner's talented like this. I already know he can write in this style. He's done it plenty of times before. Like, I need something that's more inventive than this. This is good. Is it like amazing all the way through? No, there's lines in there that I didn't like, like I said, like the like the church line and filling it up with, and then also saying that like, I told my bitch about my other bitch in front of my side bitch in front of my wifey like that's been said before that's not that's not like the hardest line ever he, drake said that in in so far gone mixtape i think drake in so far gone mixtape he said my ex-girl standing with my next girl that's standing with the girl that i'm fucking right now and shit could get weird unless they're all down to me that's a more clever way of saying what joiner just said right now and that was said back in when was so far gone oh nine somewhere in oh nine 2010 in that area like you know it's a good track it's a good remix but but it's not what i expect from joiner anymore i do expect like top tier because joiner put put himself in that top tier status on a scale of one to ten I'd probably give this like a soft seven, somewhere in that ballpark, like 7.1 or two. You know what I'm saying? But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing, long form commentary, breakdowns, you know, feedback is how we get down. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. If you wanna support the channel and myself in a way that's, that's bigger than just the subscription, consider joining over on Patreon to get like early access and exclusive content to things, or consider subscribing or donating to the stream. If you would rather watch a stream, by all means, these are my only two forms of forms the income at the moment so that's the only way that i'm able to stay in front of the camera and do all these things that i do for y'all guys full time so if you want to help me out on that i would greatly greatly appreciate it but other than that all the links to the socials are in the description along with patreon and twitch i appreciate everybody's time and like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace